My name is Nickel, O oh Nickel, and the Summer Games 2017 are now live. In this video, I'm going to go through all the skins and all the items. And if you don't know, this is a live stream, so it's going to be unedited. I'm going to go through at my own pace and try and break down things and look at it a little bit more than just going through them really quickly. And I'm even going to try and go through some of the videos and any stuff like that that we see. So if that sounds like something you would like, um, let me know by leaving a like on this video and subscribing to the channel. It really makes a difference. But with that said, let's just jump straight into it. All the Summer Games skins. Whoa! So, okay, so we already have Widowmaker. Whoa, we got a reward. Widowmaker, McCree, and Soldier 76. So we're going to break this down now. Firstly, let's check... Let's see if somebody type in the chat which one we should check out first. Who do we? Let's check out Widowmaker first since we have Widowmaker right here. So, like I said, we're going to do this at our own pace and just see how it, how it goes down. This is called the Cote d'Azur. And this is Widowmaker's bikini skin. Or I guess you could call this a bikini skin. I'm sure this means something in French. But this is kind of crazy because if you guys watched the Mercy video that came out earlier today... A lot of people thought that Mercy was actually going to be the one that had this kind of bikini style skin. And it turns out that Widowmaker is the one that has this and not Mercy. So that's pretty crazy. And let me check out her weapon real fast. Her weapon is this. This is kind of interesting. Uh, it kind of has like a wooden, a wooden grip on it. And the sight, the metal is kind of scratched up. Oh, okay, so Cote d'Azur is a place in France. It's a uh, location. I'm, I'm assuming it's probably like a beachy type of place. And by the way, guys, let me know how the audio sounds and everything. Because this is live, like I mentioned before. Let me know how the audio sounds all right. Good? Okay. Um, and yeah, so that's Widowmaker. She has her thing. We'll come back to her, guys. We're going to come back to all the skins. I just wanted to just briefly go through real quick. She also has some kind of cat eyes style glasses. The um, earrings are there and everything. Uh, she looks awesome. She even has this kind of glove with an extended middle finger and a ribbon around her, what is that called? The, her bikini top, I guess you could say. I feel like this is probably going to be one of the skins a lot of people want. Somebody just asked if I'm going to be doing a loot box opening. Yes, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be opening probably at least 100 loot boxes if you guys want to stick around and see that. Um, it might be in a separate video, but let's uh, see this. So... We got the Reaper Biker skin. <laughs> Would you look at that? That is so sick. Oh, my God. He even has a thing on him that says Edge <laughs> for Edgelord Reaper. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, my God. Okay, so this has got to be one of the best of the skin so far. This... <laughs> This is awesome. I love that he has this cape. So he has a cape that kind of has his Reaper logo extended very, very far down. And he has his biker helmet on, of course. And um, this is awesome. Even on his guns. Let's check out his guns real quick and we'll come back to him. Guys, don't worry. I know everyone's asking me to go back to Widowmaker. Guys, we're going to go through all the skins again. I just wanted to show them because I want to take a look at them real quick. We'll come back to everything. Don't worry. We're going to take our time. We're going to go through this the right way. So we even see like a little mini Reaper face on the Reaper gun, the biker gun. Um, and it says Speed Fang on there. How does that compare to the original? Let me just check that out real quick. So this is what the original one looks like, his, uh, his classic skin gun. But the biker one looks pretty good. It's orange, has a T4. It's pretty good. This is, so <laughs> this is such a great skin. Oh, my God. The cape is like probably the best addition because it – I can imagine if you're um, like jumping off of something to do your ult, this cape's probably going to flutter in the wind. This is kind of like when Mercy got her cape, or not Mercy, uh, Tracer got her cape for the Summer Games last year, last Summer Games. So we'll come back to, we'll come back to the rest of the items. I just want to go through some of the other ones we saw. Uh, Sombra. So Sombra actually has a skin as well, and apparently it's called the Tulum skin. So this... It looks awesome as well. This is like a scuba kind of sombra. She even has her flippers on her waist. This little, <clears throat> I don't know what you call it. Everyone got so mad that I used the word fanny pack during the Doomfist thing. 
Well, so we'll call this her fanny pack. Her fanny pack's on there right there. Obviously, it's not. It's a, it's more of like a probably some kind of scuba gear, I'm guessing. And she also has like a wetsuit for pants as well. And down below, she has like these kind of scuba themed um, boots. It looks like her boots actually need some healing. So maybe somebody can help her out with that. At the very up top, we see that she actually has like this breathing piece. And I know that's, oh, I was going to say, I thought it was like an oxygen tank, but it actually looks like it's a uh, scuba, like you, um, like short range. So you put that in your mouth, you can go into the water a little bit. What's up? Free diving. Yeah, I guess that's what it's called. And on her wrist, she has, <clears throat> she has uh, some kind of watch or maybe it's, I'm sure a lot of you guys that are into aquatic stuff knows what that is. Maybe it's a depth meter. I'm not really sure. Um, and then she has like these <laughs> puka shells, I guess, on her other wrist. In the back, she has these two spray cans. Everyone who does a lot of swimming and aquatics is probably like, shut up, Nicole. Th this, it's actually a, a hyperbolic um, time chamber built into her wrist. Duh, every scuba diver knows that, but I don't know that. So on her back, she actually has this little thing too. I'm assuming this is a kind of like a jet propulsion thing to push her through the water. Like I said, not a scuba diver. I don't know, but this looks pretty good. I like this one. Also, obviously not to mention the goggles on top. And she has full hair, by the way. If you guys, I'm sure most of you guys know with the classic, we only have partial hair. She grew, she went to the beach and she kind of just grew it all out. Let's check out her gun before we move on to the next skin. On the gun, we have, oh, and there is the Summer Games, or what we think is the Summer Games uh, logo. If you guys remember in the Summer Games, I think it was on Tracer last year, if I remember correctly, I can actually double check it during this video, but on Tracer, we actually had um, this, it's the same logo or it's similar to this one here. I think it was just similar. Oh, it is the exact same one. Okay, so yeah, if you guys look at Tracer's like headband on her last one, I'll actually compare it real fast. Let me go to Tracer real quick. Let's go to Tracer skin um, from last year. Where's she at? Tracer, where you at? Um, and we see, where's her Summer Games one? So yeah, it looks pretty similar uh, on her forehead. And by the way, no new Tracer skins this year. Obviously, that's probably because we got two Tracer Legendary skins last year. But let's go back to Sombra. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same thing. Um, where is she at? Tulum. Yeah, and an interesting part <clears throat> is we saw this in the Doomfist release video, but I don't think we saw that it said the word Meteor. So that's pretty interesting. I don't know if that means something has like a deeper meaning, a hidden meaning, but uh, that's kind of interesting. Let's go on to Junkrat. Guys, everyone's asking me, please go back to this skin. Please go back to that skin. Guys, I'm going to go in the order that we check out. Oh, we're going to go back to all the skins. Cricket, by the way. Whoa. So Junkrat has a Cricket skin. Let me see that. So this thing says, um, for the cricket skin, Junkrat gives a new meaning to the ashes. Guys, I forgot to read these these little parts, so I'll go back and I'll read those um, when, we go, when we revisit all the skins. We're revisiting all the skins, guys. Also, the first thing I noticed on his plank, it actually says meteor, and on the back of it, it has that same symbol. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. On his butt, he has like a little poop stain that is uh, sutured on there. On uh, on the side, he has some more poop. It's, it's not poop; it's probably mud. So this is, he's obviously playing cricket, and he has an Australian jersey on. So <clears throat> on his forehead, we can see that there is the uh, his little smiley face that we've seen all the time. That's like kind of his thing. Um, yeah, so he's playing cricket for the Australian team. It's pretty cool because, as we know, the Summer Games are taking place in Australia this year. Even though <laughs> Australia, I believe, is the winter right now. Uh, kind of strange, but. It looks like Meteor is also sponsoring his jersey. The jersey is pretty cool too. It has these little like leather belt buckle things on them. And then his pants are stitched together. I actually haven't taken a look at Lucio Ball yet, but guys, we are also gonna be, in addition to opening the loot boxes, we're actually gonna be, be playing Lucio Ball today. So there's gonna be a lot of stuff going down today. Don't forget to check it all out. Summer games are a big thing. And of course he has the mask over his face. I'm not super familiar with cricket as well, but I'm sure whoever plays cricket, knows about cricket as also, all the little intricacies of it. Um, his uh, wheel is kind of just wrapped in the same color scheme. Uh, it was like a little, what is that, grass? I feel like there's grass coming off of it, or or just maybe they're just blades. I would say that they're just spikes, but then this one only has one, so that's pretty strange. 
Um, let's check out his weapon. His weapon is <coughs> is this. So now it has number 13. It has a little explosive thing on the front. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, has a, a kangaroo, obviously repping the uh, Australian vibes here. And then we have the meteor with the little whoosh logo and the wheel on the side. Oh, even the little thing on top has the uh, kangaroo and the balls themselves have meteor. That's pretty cool. Let's compare that to the classic. <coughs> this is what the classic one looks like. It has kind of like the uh, shift gear symbol when you're on a, in a car that has sh shift stick. What is that called? Is it called shift stick? Uh, shift gear. Shift gear? I can't think of the word right now. But yeah, ha usually it has that symbol. Um, and then we have the smiley face on the front. But obviously now we have the boom. The boom. Junkrat gives meaning, new meaning to the ashes. That is pretty great. Um, <clears throat> which ones did we check out so far? Mercy. So this is the big thing. Okay, before I even open this, a lot of people were still doubting that the the Mercy skin from the video was actually real. Right now, we're gonna find out. Let's see if it actually is real. I hope it is. Please. Winged victory. So okay. So here's the thing. When we were in, when we we're talking about it. The, the Greek skin, it, people, a lot of people were saying it was based on Nike, or Nike, however you say it, the goddess of victory. And the, now that it says winged victory, oh, I think this is real. It's the real deal. Oh, my God. So Mercy actually has the Greek-themed summer skin. And if you guys watched the video where I talked about Jeff Kaplan um, talking about the four skins that might come out, he actually said <clears throat> that this skin that we're looking at right now, this Mercy legendary skin is one of his favorite skins of all time. So this is one of Jeff Kaplan's favorite skins of all time. For me personally, I think the witch is pretty untoppable. I think this is one of the best skins ever created for, especially for, definitely for Mercy, for anything in general. But Wing Victory is pretty, pretty good. This is, this is nice. So let's try and break this down. So she obviously has the um, Greek style, uh, what are they called? I can't think of the word right now. I was thinking toga. That's not a toga on her head. The Greek style leaves on the top of her head. Um, she has the long draping um, toga. Yeah, I guess this is a, this is the toga. And then, but you know what's interesting is in the the image that we looked at before, the one that was posted by Blizzard China, it actually looked like she was more rounded or something. Maybe that image was squashed because she actually looks more like Mercy here, obviously because she's actually in the game. Um, and then we have these, these tassels around her waist, her own fanny pack. <laughs> I'm just saying that to enrage you guys because I know everyone hates when I call things fanny pack. And they especially hate it when I say the word sunset. So I'm never going to say the word sunset ever again. <laughs> Actually, I'll probably say it on purpose just to enrage you guys. But across her chest, she has these two um, emblems. Uh, probably has something to do with uh, the actual Greek mythology. And on her wrist, she has the uh, bracelets, not bracelets. What are they called? Not gauntlets. It's a word in between. Bracers? I think they're called bracers. And then down below, the uh, the Greek breakdown. She even has, uh, it reminds me, I know it's not supposed to be from, I think Hermes is the one in Greek mythology that has, is it Apollo? I can't remember. I'm sure everyone in the comments is like, Nickel, you know, you know that this is obviously, insert name correct person here, but it's the one that, isn't, her, isn't Hermes the one that, that goes around with those little shoes? Somebody, I'm sure. Basically, what are those? That's, that's my question. Hermes. Oh, it is Hermes. All right, cool. So Hermes is the one, but except these are the high heeled version. Um, for her weapon, whoa, this looks really cool. That might actually be cooler than the witch one. Let me see. No, nope, not cooler than the witch one. Nope, sorry. The witch one's too awesome. Witch is the ultimate. <laughs> but, okay, sorry. I'm biased. I'm biased. Let's go back to hers. So the, for the winged victory one, she also has those um, little green, those collared greens at the top. And uh, at the bottom, or at the, the, what do you call that? The base of it, too. You guys can see my mouse, right? Yeah, right here. And then on the inside, you still see like the injection thing. There's actually an animation for that still. That's pretty cool that there's an animation for the bubbles going on in there, even though this is uh, such a busy design as it is. They put a lot of work into these skins. That's like crazy to me how they do this, <clears throat> how they can pull this off so well. So 
Jeez. Okay, let's look at the gun. I think it's supposed to be like white marble or something. Right in the middle. Of the, I, this is actually a really good design work right here, right in the center. If you guys can see where I'm clicking. Um, let's go into the gun. We'll come back. We're, guys, we're coming back to all the skins. Everyone keeps asking me to go back to the skins. We're going to go back to the skins. Just relax. I just want to go through them once first. So here is the gun that obviously fits the same theme. Has, it's kind of like this gold and white theme. And looks good. Let's compare that to the original because I know you guys always like to see the comparison. That's how the original one looked like. Um, also kind of has a white theme too, white and gold sort of, but this one as most legendary skins is much more intricate. There's a lot more than design work. The green, uh, button, I guess you could call it is, uh, no longer red. What's the matter? So let's go back. Let's go check out the other ones. Let's go check out the other skin. So what else do we have left? Um, who didn't we see? Soldier 76. Where's Soldier 76? Soldier 76. All right. Let's see what his is called. His is called <laughs> Grill Master 76 is what he's called. <laughs> this is, okay, this is probably the best skin of all of them. <laughs> Grill Master 76 is the best skin in my mind. He has, what is this, three beers on his on his shoulder or on his arm oh my god and he has the dad glasses those like uh motorbike glasses i guess you call them and then he even has the ultimate top off the socks and sandals combo this is gotta be one of the best skins in general of course since he's called grill master 76 he has a spatula the uh tongs and the rag for grilling. <laughs> and he still has a pistol on his back. Jeez. He's ready for anything. Let's check on oh, the spices. So right below where it says raise, raise the stakes, he has the three spices. Um, looks like salt or something. Salt and something else. Oh, is it because he's salty? When people, he gets salty when people go him. So let's check this out. And this. All right. So let's do a little history breakdown right now. This is actually, if you guys watch the Doomfist release video, this is actually the same gun that they put on the classic skin. So they swapped this. And the reason we know that is because of this strange like coil design and the tongs at the end. A lot of people are saying this was similar to Destiny, but this is actually, what's the? Yeah, oh yeah. So, <laughs> so at the bottom you see a salt rifle. That's pretty great. So we have salt on the, on the belt and this is a rifle for adding salt to people. They're so good. They're so good at making these, this is crazy. But so this is called Grill, Ma Grill Master 76, and he obviously has the um, tongs on it. And uh, these tongs are uh, what we saw in that Doomfist video the other Soldier 76 have had, which is the reason why we think that maybe we're going to be able to swap weapons in the future. That would be kind of cool. On the other side, we also see like a thermometer type of thing, and I think this is supposed to be a mini propane tank. Either way, oh, check this. We forgot this. <laughs> what? Diet, diet health up. So his, uh, his E becomes this diet heal up. This is too awesome. Oh my God. They're killing it. They are killing it. So on his, on his, uh, wait, no, go back on his, uh, shoulder. That's what that is. Diet heal up. This is so good. I have to get this skin. I don't even play that much soldier, but maybe I will because of grill master. And also we have McCree. So let's check out McCree. McCree has one called Lifeguard, and that is also awesome. So this one says SAMF. Um, what does the S stand for? Uh, summer? I'm sure there's probably an obvious explanation. So most of you guys know that McCree is actually kind of inspired by the spaghetti westerns involving Clint Eastwood and some other guys. So in this one, he actually, instead of having the cigar, he has a popsicle stick in his mouth. There's a lot of shadows on his face. I wish we could get an image... Maybe we'll go in game. We'll see it later on. But instead of having the cigar, he actually has a popsicle stick in his mouth. And instead of having the poncho that Clint Eastwood and a lot of other people would wear in the spaghetti Westerns, he has a beach towel. So that's a really cool swap out on the back. We see that he does have the uh, lifeguard backpack along with his little water bottles and his cooler as well. What's that? Yeah. And, and probably one of the biggest things is he's blonde. You guys ever seen a blonde McCree? That's what happens when you hang out by the uh, <laughs> you hang out by the, the beach too long. 
the ocean too long. So then he has a red gun that kind of looks like it's supposed to be maybe a flare gun, sort of. And then he has his straw style hat because it's beach weather. And then his beach glasses. So this is a really cool skin. And then flip flops. Can you imagine McCree? I mean, I guess you won't have to imagine. You'll see him in game running around in flip flops pretty soon, which will be pretty nice. I like the beach style uh, look to it too. So for the gun, let's take a quick, uh, closer look. It's a desert seagull. <laughs> That's pretty great. I'm sure you guys know what this is supposed to be referenced to for uh, all you Deagle people out there, but it's a desert seagull and um, it has the word guard on it. This is awesome. This is really good. This is really, really good. So let me check to see if there's any items. We'll go back to the beginning real fast with Reaper. While I just make sure, I don't want to miss any items guys. So we're gonna, I'm gonna look at the items real quick just to make sure I'm not missing any of them. Um, okay. And then let's just make sure we see all the items. I'll put on his back so you guys can see that really cool thing. Oh, and it looks like we actually have the, oh guys, we have the video. The video of the Summer Games is out right now. So let's watch this together actually since we were looking through all these skins. Let's take a look at this and we'll talk about it after. It's very, very short. So let's play this real quick. Hopefully we have some sound on it. Yeah, we got some sound. Here we go. Let's check this out guys. Lucio Ball is back. Welcome to Sydney. Lucio, checking in the game. Woo! Oh, yeah! Bend it like Lucio. Oh, did you see that? Nice shot. Or Luke. Your eye in the sky. Right on target. Oh, <laughs> uh, the Neon Genji! Viva! Let's get this party started! Oh, up the volume! Oh, it's party time. A perfect ten. Try and keep up. Boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> I love rifle. the smell of charcoal in the morning. I love the smell of charcoal. Respect the chef. Yeah. Move to the beat. <laughs> That's so good. Wow, that is so good. Okay, so I know a lot of people are asking too. Real quick, I'll go through the um, the uh, other skins. You guys want to see some of the old skins real fast and some of the other items? Somebody wanted me to go through and check all the items. Uh, all guys, obviously, Anna doesn't have one. Uh, emotes. She has beach ball. Um, oh, we actually, guys, I'll give you a quick overview of all the items real quick because we actually have a link that will show us all this. Okay, cool. So let me, let me break this. Let me show this to you guys real quick. All right. So let's just look at the overview. This is a kind of like an overview of everything. So we have the Reaper biker skin, the Widowmaker <clears throat> uh, summer skin. So basically I think every skin we got this year was legendary for the Summer Games. So we have Reaper, Widowmaker, uh, Junkrat, Soldier 76, McCree, Sombra, uh, Mercy, American McCree, which is only an epic, which is probably one of my favorite skins still in the game. Then we have the older skin. So starting from American McCree, everything on is an older skin. So we have American McCree, Zarya, the Mercy one, uh, Nihon Genji, the two Lucios, the two Tracers, the Diva, which is Korean themed, the Swedish one, or the Swedish um, Torbjorn, and then we had the Widowmaker from last year. But also we have the highlight intros. So we're going to go through the highlight intros right now. These are the ones we have. The Slam Dunk, like we saw in the video, the, Han the Hanzo one, which is Target Practice. Those are the two new ones, and the three older ones. So for emotes, <clears throat> we actually have... Um, the beach ball one, which is, let me show you right now. So it looks like we only have one new emote and it's for Anna. So this is the new emote we have in the game. Which one? Hmm? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what it looks like right there. Um, it looks like that's the only one we have for emotes, but that's pretty much an overview of all the items. So basically we ended up getting one emote, two highlight intros, and a bunch of skins. 
Wow, a lot of skins. So yeah, let's check out the highlight intros right now. We're gonna go through them. Let me just go back to this. Um, let's go to the highlight intros and then we will, uh, I already forgot who we had. Let me go back. <laughs> I forgot which ones we got highlight intros for. We got Farah and Hanzo. Where's Farah? There's Farah. Highlight intro. This is the Farah highlight intro, which is straight out of the uh, cinematic we just watched. Here it is. Wow, that's an awesome one. Dang, there's so many ones I want to get. Holy cow. All right. All right, I really want that one. Let's check out the Hanzo one. Hanzo's highlight intro is here. It's target practice. So this is new highlight intro for Hanzo. Oh my God, that's an awesome one. I think that one's even better. Jeez, the two, the both of them are so good. And if you, somebody was asking, can you please show the old ones too? All right, I'll show them real quick. So this is the Lucio one from last year. Highlight intro of Summer Games is Bicycle Kick. Boom. Actually, I didn't even know I didn't have that one. Last year, it was so hard to get these Summer Game items because you couldn't buy them with credits, which is crazy. Oops. Uh, and then we also had Tracers from last year, which was... Where are you at, Tracer? There you go. Uh, highlight intro. She had serious... No, what am I doing? Hurdle. So I'm sure you guys have seen that one a bunch. Uh, and then the, the last one was actually shock put. So now you can combine your Junkrat skin with the Junkrat highlight intro from the Summer Games, which is the shock put one. And then that's it. I mean, the only other ones we have are the old emotes. And I'm sure you guys remember the old emotes like uh, Bastion had the one where he did his um, boxing. He does a little punching. So you can actually get that now. So a lot of people that wanted that one, you can actually get that now. Lucio had Juggle, and then there was only one last one for everything. That was like basically it. Juggle is the one I actually have uh, equipped right now. Boom. And then uh, the last one was Ribbon, I believe, from Symmetra. So Ribbon, highlight intro. Oh, no, emotes. Where is Ribbon? Ribbon's right there. So I'm sure you guys remember that. So we have the two new ones, Slam Dunk. I think, I honestly think the two new ones are better than all three of the old ones. The new ones are awesome. Um, and that's, I think that's all the Summer Game items. Unless you guys, I'll show you real quick since people are asking just what the old Summer Game skins look like. Um, the Diva one looked like this. Still a great skin. Still probably one of my favorite Diva skins, I would say. Um, during your time as a professional gamer, Diva probably represent her country in tournaments around the world. Um, which other one do we have last year? We had the American McCree, which was probably, it's like very hard to top that one. That one's so good. Uh, <clears throat> that was just really great. And then we also had, of course, the Lucio ones. I'm sure most of you guys have seen those. Where are they at? That one and the one that I actually got, which was Striker. So we got those ones. <clears throat> Tracer had her too. Where is Tracer at? Tracer has so many skins though. Track and Field and Sprinter, both of those. And then Genji had a really great one. Um, Genji has so many great skins in general though. The Nihon Genji one is so good. Such a cool skin. I, I think it's just simplistic and it shows the Japan flag on it just very well. Um, and then obviously we got the, some of the epic ones, but I'm sure you guys are more interested in the legendary ones. Uh, I, I guess I show, I'll show you real quick. Here's the Torbjorn one. I think a lot of you guys have seen this one. Oops, I went to the wrong one. Um, that was, that's one. So you can actually get these now. So that's that one. And then finally, the Widowmaker one. So we have the Widowmaker one from this year, which is that. And then the Widowmaker one from last year, which is that. But last year was only an epic. The one from this year is awesome. Hmm? So anyways, um, that's pretty much everything, guys. I'm actually going to uh, restart the stream right now. If you guys want to stick around, I'm going to open at least 100 loot boxes if you want to come through and check out those loot boxes. I'm, obviously, I'm going to be going through the skins again in that stream. It's going to start up in less than just a few minutes, uh, maybe like two minutes. So don't even go anywhere. I'll be back in probably two minutes. Uh, either way, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And if you enjoyed the video, let me know by leaving a like on this video. And I'll see you guys in just a few minutes when I get ready for the next stream.